Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, to Love Above All with Brandis. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm gonna to be talking about some family traditions as well as my Christmas Eve tablescape. Today I'm participating in a collaboration that is hosted by Diva Designing on a Dime with Kimberly Davis. Hi Kimberly, thank you so much for inviting me into this collaboration and please make sure that you check out all the other ladies that are participating and the links are going to be down below. So, my daughter's saying hello, but if, for those of you that don't know, I have a daughter who is four years old and my son is 18 months old. And so our family traditions are kind of just starting. So I wanted to share a few of those with you as well as my Christmas Eve tablescape. And again, this is the second time that I'm doing something formal in my home. Um, the other time was Easter of last year. So I am just getting into the swing of things. It's been a lot of fun just trying to play around um, with different styles and how I'm gonna lay things out and things of that. Merry Christmas and God bless you. And I hope that your December is treating you wonderfully. Take care and let's get started. Welcome to my 2015 Christmas Eve tablescape. So I'm a dork and I love to reflect and I want to let you know what I learned. I learned to trust the Lord through this process, think ahead of time, keep paper and pen handy to jot down inspiration and to use what you have as a base. Think outside of the box and have fun and enjoy this beautiful process of setting up your table. This is the second time that I have done this um, as far as a formal event is concerned. So it's always just a lot of fun and I just love receiving new ideas and inspiration. So let's first start off with the centerpiece. So the centerpiece, I chose um, to actually do greenery in the middle of my table because I do have um, different greenery throughout my home and I wanted to kind of connect that. I alternated um, red and gold balls throughout and I inserted little gold angels as well that I found from estate sales. I also have this gold mesh that is running through um, the foliage as well throughout the table. And I also wanted to add some white to correspond with the white that I have in the plate. So I added those little white balls in the center. And you're going to keep kind of seeing the pattern go throughout until you get all the way to the end. And um, I think you saw in the beginning the letter P for my last name. I have this at the end too that I found at Joanne Fabrics for 60% off. I love that little touch at the end. I used a gold shimmery tablecloth as the runner and kind of folded it and laid it on top of this white tablecloth that I have that is from 
a beloved great aunt of mine that is in heaven now but I love that little touch on the table and here we have right now a candelabra that um, I put LED candles on and I adorned them with some of these bows right here with that same pattern that you'll see throughout my home the red and the gold and I just love the pattern on these bows the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is the place setting so the place setting I decided to go ahead and use these gold chargers I really love them I've, I've had them since Easter and then I also chose to use um, the china that I got this year my first china ever and I got it from Bed Bath & Beyond it's the Crestwood gold along with my silverware that I use for the dining room and right here I found these beautiful gold rimmed glasses from home goods and that's a new purchase this year that I was able to use with the table um, I'm also using a bread plate we'll be having some bread and a white napkin with a gold napkin holder the coolest part of this whole thing was my place cards. I love it. Just me. You might hate it, but I absolutely love it. This is from Confessions of a Serial DIYer. I got this idea. I wanted my place cards to be little elves, so all of my guests, guests are going to have a chuckle. I found those little balls right there from Amazon where you can insert the place card. I literally just made tables and got these images off of the internet and was able to print them on cardstock. And then I added a little bit of holly to the bowl as a finishing touch um, to kind of break up all of the green. So here is my table setting, you guys, for 2015. Thank you so very much for watching. And I hope you are having a great Christmas season. I'm just so thankful for all of you. And I just pray that, you know, throughout things that I'm doing and the way that I'm doing things um, you can get any type of inspiration for your own home and I hope that you feel the love that I have for mine and I just wish you guys a wonderful wonderful Christmas God bless you take care and I will see you in my next video bye bye